Hello everybody and welcome back to the survival series. So in this episode, we're going to be first of all going over to the shop as usual to buy, or the pub I should say, to go and buy some food and drink. And then we're going to go over to Peter Wood's farm because he has told us there is something he'd like us to do. So we're going to see what it is. And yeah, obviously we'll just take it a step at a time and just see exactly where the day ends up. I don't know, it could be another early finish at three o'clock or it could be a late finish. We'll just have to find out. So. Onto the Massey Ferguson. We have a very short drive, first of all, to Dennis's place. Of all places, yeah, it's definitely the place to start the day. It's just such a friendly welcome, I can't get enough of it. Right, okay. So, Dennis, hello. Uh, oh, hello, Dagwin. Oh, my prices have gone up. Yep, as I told you, it's always a, a laugh a minute here. So, good, the prices have gone up. Well, in that case, we're going to buy... Actually, uh, oof, the prices have gone up, but I'm going to buy a fruit juice, because it's something different. And I think, we'll, yeah, we'll go for a sandwich as well. So, even, oof, even with these prices, it's it's not too bad, I suppose. It's, it's not extortionate. So, there we go. We have a sandwich and some juice. So we're already five pounds down, but that's all right, because hopefully we're going to make some money today. Um, at least we already know there's going to be some work for us. So that's always positive. When we start the day and we have no idea if we're even going to get any work, that is when it's worrying. So yeah, we're still using the Massive Ferguson 135 as our get-around vehicle. It would be nice to have a car, or even a quad bike, I suppose. Because although this is a very nice tractor, I think it, it would be better suited to in a field doing field work instead of just travelling continually on the road between two places uh, which are a very short distance apart. Right, so here we are over at Peter Woods Farm. I'm going to park, uh, well, where should we park? Somewhere out of the way because I know that he's got a job for us. It's just I don't know what. I think we'll put it over here. This at least is the shed where he said that we could put stuff if we wanted to. So it would be the wisest place. Right, yeah, so I don't know if we're going to need the tractor, but even so, it can go there for the time being. Let's go and have a chat. In the workshop to the right of my house, I have two lawnmowers. Please can you use them to mow my lawn, which is in, in the front of the house, and after that, please can you go over to fill number four and spread some slurry on it. Wow, yeah, definitely, for £2,000. So, a bit of mowing. Here is the workshop. Here is the mowers, in fact. Looks like it might have been doing a bit of work with this one here. But the, the Husqvarna is all parked up, so which one should we go for first? If I actually know, before we do start, let's go and take a look at the piece of land in question. He said around the front of the house, which is here. Wow, that's going to be a concern, getting the mower through. That is very narrow. I suppose we could put it... <laughs> we could pick it up with the front loader and put it over the wall. Oh, okay, so it's not a massive piece of land. But yes, with it being so long, it's going to require the ride on. Hopefully we don't burn any belts out, but yeah, he could seriously do with some management on this. I can see why he's asked us to do it. Hopefully we don't have to pay for any replacement parts if we break something. So, yeah, I think we'll bring both the mowers around first of all. And then we can decide which one we're going to use. Probably both of them. Probably the, mower, the push mower for the edges, the border, and the ride-on for the rest of it. Uh, no collecting box, so it looks like he wants us just to drop it. Even though this one here does have a collecting box, so or, or a bag. Yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, let's just jump onto this thing. Ooh, very nice. It's an easy starter. Oh yeah, cruising along. Um, yeah, we've got the throttle just there. We can just push that. Go a bit faster. Oh, I like this. This is nice. Not farming though. Although he has said that we can do some farming, so that's good. Uh, yeah, from experience I know that that lever just there, to the right, goes out over the bonnet and it will engage the deck. Because I've driven these before. But yeah, this is 
This is tight. I suppose though it is his house, so he's going to know exactly what fits through here. Ah, yes, here we go. So this piece here, I do with the push mower, because that is absolutely tiny. And then probably up against the uh, the house here, we'll do with the walk behind mower. Thinking about it, we don't have a strimmer. We could really do with a strimmer, because otherwise. I'm not going to be able to get right to the edge. So I don't know if he's got one. I'll have to check if it doesn't look good. But he might not really care about the finish. I'm not too sure. It might just be a case of neatening things up a bit. Okay, so here is the other lawnmower just here. And yeah, it's a Honda. Self-propelled. Definitely self-propelled. Ooh, it's fast. Whoa, that is fast. Okay, well, I think I will start off with the push mower because it's going to be good just to tidy up the, the entrance way to the garden. Um, yeah, as for all this area here, I, I think we should probably tidy it up as well. I could do that now. As we're here. Right. Try and get as close to the house as possible without crashing into it. Oh, it's some seriously long grass, this. We need to keep the speed down. Luckily, this very sophisticated lawnmower has a speed controller. So we've got it in the lowest speed possible. So we don't overload it or burn belts out. Yeah, well, as you can see. I can't get right up to the uh, the wall there, but it is still making a huge improvement to it. Looks much better. Very nice. Um, yeah, I'll try and get a little bit closer because it would be good just to perfect that. It's not the tidiest I've ever seen. Right. Yep, that's good. If I go at it as close as that, we should be alright. Perfect. Really good. As for the piece up here, we will just uh, try and tidy it up a bit. It is a mess though, it doesn't look like he's tidied the yard up at all. At least the whole time that we've been here, it's been a mess. So, yeah, not a man who has much pride in his in his lawns, but we mustn't say too much, because he is paying us very well for this. Right, okay, so it's not perfect, but that is still much better than it was before. I think that would do. We'll take it over here, and we'll start to do the back garden as well. Uh, yeah, if we can just do this piece on the left, like I say, then we can at least see how close to the edge we can get. Um, if we can get a, a reasonable distance away from the wall, then it'll be fine. But if it's really far away, then it's going to look really scruffy. It's actually a really big mower to be turning around in here. Despite it being a push mower. Right. Let's try this. Oh. Crashed into the wall. But that is good. That's getting most of it. Yeah, th there really is not much space at all. We could do with a strimmer. We really could do. However, the majority of that out there is just alongside a hedgerow, so that isn't really going to be a problem. Because although it might be a bit prickly, um, we should be able to get fairly close to the hedge. Working around a wall is much more difficult. Okay, so just the final piece here. I might do that piece over there next to the wall. Perfect. Okay, we'll turn the deck off. It does have a, a separate clutch.
good. Right, so that should make life much easier. Switch it off, and we'll just put it over here. Brilliant. Such a nice mower. As for this lawn, it's going to be quite a challenge with it being so long. Uh, it's actually... How is it there? It's like halfway up the machine. That is some long grass. I hope it can do it. I am ready. This is going to be good. Okay, so we need to be in... Um, we need to be uh, fairly high throttle. But I'd like to keep the speed fairly low. So if I can put it to... Let's see. Two miles per hour. That should be good. Otherwise, I'll have to go down to one. Um, right. Let's just lower the deck. Can't really see it, but it is going down, as you can see. Deck engage. And... Floor it. Oh, that's a bit too fast. There we go. Oh yes, this is good. I could keep this up all day. Nothing like a bit of mowing. Such an enjoyable job. Yeah, the problem is though, because it is so long, it's leaving these massive clumps of grass. It's quite wet as well. So that's going to take a bit of rotting down, but... Ugh, tree! Ugh. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. Good. Getting right to the edges is difficult still. I thought it would be a bit easier. But oh, these trees are all in my ears and face and everything. Ugh, earwig. This is horrible. Yes, when, when we've done the perimeter, it's going to be much more pleasant. A oh, twig. Oh. Wow, this is uh, exercise in itself. More twigs. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's seriously long. This is long grass. Why do I have to be in all the trees, all the branches? You could do with getting a hedge cutter in here. He's a good tidy up. But it is making a vast improvement to the garden, to the lawn. It seems like a decent mower though, it seems to be cutting through it all, which is nice. Because we don't want to lose, uh, we don't want to leave anything, that would be really nasty. Right, get as close to that pathway as possible. Go for the next round, hopefully this time it won't be quite as uh, unpleasant. But no, this is a, a nice job. And we even have lights. Lights! So that if we wanted to, we could drive around in the dark. Although, seriously, why would anybody want to cut grass in the dark? I don't know, but I guess there are sorts out there who would do. Um, yeah, if that was your thing. The way I've always seen it, lights on a rider mower. Uh, for style, definitely looks better with lights. Styling is good, but also if you're going to be moving it around, like if you're moving it out of your workshop or your shed, and it just is dark, then that's most likely the best reason for having lights. But for actually mowing in the dark, I don't know if anybody would do that. Post down below. Do you mow grass in the dark? If you have a ride on mower though, unless you have fitted lights to your walk behind mower. I know some of the walk behind mowers these days are electric start and in fact they have been around for a while electric start mowers for the, uh, the small ones in fact my Westwood that was um, that was a pole start and that's a ride on so <laughs> even some of the ride ons are pole start yeah I'm just wondering about the time here we are spending quite some time on this, that's the thing with these um, long grass projects, it does take a long time to cut now, you can't rush it, because you just either chew up the belt, or you just make a mess of the lawn we do have to do the slurry spreading today, so uh, yeah, we can't spend too long on this it's even gone to seed the grass has gone to seed 
Yeah, not much chance of getting stripes on this lawn. It is, however, fairly uh, free of unwanted weeds, which is nice. No ragwort or dandelions growing through. Probably doesn't even need fertilising, although it would be nice to fertilise it in the future if he wants it doing. But yeah, as we've seen so far, it doesn't look like it really takes much pride in the lawn, just as long as it's cut short, so maybe once a year. Uh, this is this is half a year's growth here, so well, actually pretty much a full year's growth. Yep, it's some long stuff. I'm just gonna speed up a bit. That's working. It's working. I was going to say it's better, but probably not. It might get the job done faster. Right. Okay. Whoa, hedge. That was close. I'm going to continue. Get some more of this done. Dare I go three miles per hour? Oh, it's all gone wrong. I've blocked it. I've completely blocked the mower. I'm hoping that Peter Wood is not watching this. I need to get underneath the mower to uh, pull out all the really large chunks of grass. However, getting in there is going to be quite difficult. So I've got the Massey Ferguson tractor here. My intention is to reverse onto the, uh, the manure fork and just tilt it over a bit because it's quite heavy to push. Uh, let's just lift the deck up first. Right. Um, yes, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. We're also blocking the road. This is very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. I should not have increased the speed. Hopefully they can pass. Yep. Yeah, good. Right. Okay, so if I can just very, very carefully tilt it up. I don't want to go too far because it'll obviously tip it over and it's not my mower. So oh if I do damage to this it's gonna be terrible. Let's just pull all the oh loads of grass in there, just pull it all out. Right, I think that's all of it. You can see all the, the grass I've pulled out here. I've pulled absolutely loads out from underneath. Um, you could almost bail that. Yeah, we'll let it down and just really discreetly take the tractor back to its position in the shed. He is probably going to have heard it start up in the first place. I'm embarrassed and worried that he's not going to pay us. Right, this next time I'm going to go the slowest speed the mower can do because it's obviously a domestic mower and uh, this is some seriously long grass the length of this grass is really for a really massive mower you know like the most expensive commercial mower although if you do go slow with them the domestic mowers or even this mower they can actually cut some seriously long stuff it's just you gotta yeah drive to the conditions here goes Hopefully it's going to work. I hopefully I haven't broken it completely. Good. Good, it is working. Very pleased to see that. So I'm going to continue, and hopefully we have no more problems, and then we'll uh, we'll pack it all up, and head over to field four, and we'll uh, we'll spread the slurry on the field, and yeah, go from there. He didn't say there was any other work for us today, so we'll just have to see. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's again one of those days where you take it one step at a time. There is going to be a lot of grass left behind here though. I have almost finished the final piece. Yeah, the good thing about the bagging mower just over there is it's made a, a really nice finish on the grass. Uh, it's not left anything, but with this one, because we're not collecting it up, yeah, it's just making a, a bit of a, a bit of a mess. <laughs> that's that's all I can say really, because there's nothing you can really do about it unless you have a baggy mower. Although this one might be able to have one. Oh no, it's got no shoes. There's no shoes on the back. Oh, it has a tow bar. We could tow stuff. Well, I'm going to go and put this back over here, and then we'll obviously go and get the push mower. We'll put that back in here as well, and then we'll have a, a wander over to field number four. It's only up the road, we'd have to take the tractor. 
Um, I'm assuming, I've just crashed here, I'm assuming there is not a tractor here which we need to use. I don't think so anyway. Right, so yeah, the self-propelled is uh, definitely a lot less back-breaking. Very nice to have it. Takes a bit of getting used to though, because it is the rear wheels that steer. It's quite interesting actually that the, uh, the push mower even has steering. Well, there we go. Roughly where we got it from, we'll put it next to the uh, the ride on, just there. But that was great fun. I really enjoyed that, and knowing that we're going to get. £2,000 for doing that and the next job is even better. That is really good. Right, I think this is a good time to have an e have some food. I was going to say have an eat, but no, we'll have some food and some drink. Mmm. That's better. Okay, so we, we've got nothing left in the backpack. Totally empty. That looks better too. Much neater. There's the lawn. Well, it's certainly an improvement. It was so long before. That is a large improvement. How are we doing? No traffic. Makes a change. Oh yeah, forgot to say. Uh, yeah, Peter Wood had a delivery of cows. We had to open the gate for the the lorry which was delivering them, and I'm assuming they're here. Yes, they are. The gate is now shut. Must be something good in there. But yep, here are the cows. I don't know how many. Looks like it's about ten or so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can see. I can. Yeah, is it just nine? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I can only see eight. I don't know. I don't know. Counting to ten has never been my strong point. Okay. So we're going to, yeah, wander up to field number four. I'm assuming the tractor is already up there. Hopefully it is. And we'll, uh, we'll obviously go and do that job. It's a quiet road today. It was busy when I was trying to sort out the mower. Quiet now. So that's field three. Uh, it's the field which we did the bales with, uh, all the bales from. And yeah, it's, uh, it's growing again. So we should be able to get another... Cut off that this year. This is fill number four. You can see a few bits of mist crop here, but it does need to be uh, spread with slurry. So we'll get that done. So here is the tractor. We need to put the PTO on. There we go. And we'll begin. Because uh, it looks like he's not going to give us too much time for us to do this. We're going to have to get it done really quickly. But luckily we do have a very good working with with this particular implement, so it won't take us that long anyway. That corner might be a challenge. Yeah, I'll have to back up. Okay. Yeah, I'll do the headlands first. Need to get a fairly good coverage on here. Because uh, chances are he's going to actually get us to drill the next crop as well. I'm not too sure what it's going to be. But it does seem that field 4 is the field which he gets us to work in. He has loads of fields. And as far as I'm aware he has another farm where most of his other workers are. So field 4 is like the field which he makes us work in. And only field 4 I suppose. Although actually no, there was one more field. I think it was field 12 but I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. It must be the one which he uh, lets us loose on. Doesn't matter too much if we make a mistake, I suppose. But he pays as well. So I don't know. He just likes to get us to work on field number four. And three, actually, because field three is just there. Uh, very close to the yard. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe these are his closest fields. So, because we live close as well, he just gives us the local jobs. We're about halfway through. It's going well. No crashes yet. But very slowly, we are gathering the money. Um, yeah, I mean, we're not 
spending an awful lot on uh, other expenses. Very soon we're going to have to pay rent again on the house, which is going to be quite a, a big hit for us. I think it's about £700. can't remember what the, uh, the company who is uh, renting it to us is charging, but it's, it's not cheap. We'll put it that way. Our landlord does seem like a fairly nice person, though. I've never met them. But, uh, yeah. We did uh, obviously arrange it through solicitors, and they, they all seem pretty happy about it all. As long as we keep up with the pay. Right. Uh, so, if I just swing round quickly. Get this bit here finished off. Once again, I am very happy with your work. Thank you, and here is your reward. Well, once again, that is very nice to hear. And we now have £7,477. That is impressive. Considering only a few days ago we turned up here, we had nothing except for the clothes that we were wearing, we had no house, we had no work, and we're not actually officially employed here, um, but we just keep coming back to Peterwood, because he always has these old jobs for us to do, and clearly he must think we're very useful for them. So um, as long as we keep getting work, it's fine. I'm assuming that Dennis is going to have some more work for us at some point up in his sunflower field, but I don't know. I'm not too sure what Dennis is up to. In fact, I, I don't know what combine harvester he has, uh, although he must have something to be harvesting sunflowers, so <laughs> we'll have to see. We go to the pub every day anyway, so I'm sure somehow we'll drop it into a conversation. It's going to be a tough conversation, but even so, Somehow, we'll find out. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go back to our house because we are done. There's always a car coming. Always. And here we are. There's our mower. Just reverse into our parking space. Keep out of the way. Oh, don't want to hit the dry stone wall. There we go. Brilliant. Okay then, so we're going to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.